Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. I'm really excited because I get to do a giveaway. I've hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. I'm about to hit 1,200 subscribers, and um, I'm hitting my 300th video as well. So a lot of reasons to celebrate, as well as getting back into picking again. I put away some of my lock picking projects, and I'm finally back to picking locks. Anyways, let's get away. Get a, <laughs> let's move along with our giveaway and what we have here. We have three pots. Down at the bottom left, we have these five locks. We have this and this pot over here. The bottom left, this is our progressive lock set. We have um, a new set uh, puck lock, which has five pins, all standard. Really interesting. I found out it was five pins easily because this key works, and they actually clipped off the end of it. So I knew it's five pins, only five pins, all standard. This Morris lock is pinned up with... Uh, all spools. The Cpox padlock is pinned up like an American lock with spools and serrated. We have a typical uh, American, or sorry, Master Lock Lotto. Then at the end we have a Master Lock Pro Series 6121, which is also pinned up with six pins. A 6121 is much like an American lock. The uh, serrations and spools are just very ever so slightly different. So that is set number one. Our lot number two is our Medico, Progressive Medico lot down here. And that, we have a Medico core right here. That is all grub screwed at top. We have pins, extra pins to go along with it, different sizes along with a couple mushroom. There we go, a couple mushroom pins in there. And most importantly, because Medico takes some time to learn, it's nice to not have to set a device to learn Medico. I have a 3D printed holder here to hold the core. So it fits in just like this. See it slides right in. It does not shake out. So it sits in there nicely, but it's also easy. You can stick your finger through the end there and push it right out without a whole lot of force. So super nice to have that. So you don't have to sit at a desk while you're progressive pinning your Medico. You know, watch TV while you're learning it. At the very end here, we have our third pot, which is our dimple pot. We have a couple of cutaways, just basic cutaways, dimple locks. And then we have um, our multi-dong pick. If you have not seen this yet, I have a recent video of how to make this. It is an honest dong shi handle converted to take multi-pick tips. And so there we are. That will be a pick giveaway as well. So we have three lots here. If you're interested in the progressive locks down here, type the word progressive below. If you're interested in the Medico lot, type the word Medico in the comments below. And if you are interested in the dimple lot over here, type the word dong below. <laughs> and I'm interested to see how that's going to go with the YouTube algorithm. I'm actually really looking forward to that. So again, three pots here. You can only enter for one pot, one pot only. And, um, very good. Best of luck. I will do the drawing on July 4th. So a whole bunch of reasons to celebrate. Um, best of luck to everyone. Again, if you want the progressive set, type the word progressive in the comments. If you want the me progressive medico set, type the word medico in the comments. And if you want the multi-dong pick with the dimple locks over here, type the word dong below. And enjoy the following video. It is a, a trio of master lock pad locks that all are dimple locks that also have spool pins in them. They are full spools, which I found really cool. All right, everyone, enjoy. Hello world, this is Lock Picking Dev. Today I have something pretty cool for you. They are Master Lock Padlock Dimple Locks. That's right, Master Lock Dimple Locks that are also padlocks. We have the 30 millimeter version, the 40 millimeter, and the 50 millimeter version over here. What's really cool about them is that they have more pins than you would expect. 30 millimeter has four pins, 40 millimeter has five pins, and the 50 millimeter over here has six pins. What's even more cool about this is that these padlocks all have spools in them as well, which I find really cool for master locks. So, um, you know, it's not too often I found myself saying that up to this point, uh, outside the proceeds, I found some cool master locks. Let's pick them and show you how they feel. These were loaned to me by Peter South, so thank you, Peter. I'm very thankful for you to let me uh, play with these because these are really super cool. Anyways, let me throw these in a vise and show you how they pick. I'm back. I have the 30 millimeter in a vise, and I'm going to pick this one uh, a little bit differently. I'm going to use Cloaked Entries Co.'s um, depth picks, and I found that this works. Uh, the depths are still accurate for the dimple uh, padlocks as well, so I figure I'd do this a little bit fun way and do it this way. I 
pretty big false set when I went into it. Go from this angle. There we go. So it's like right on the borderline that false set and not fully pushed up in it. So it's like I almost had it set, but it was not there. So that's pin two. Go to your home. Yep, that's the problem. There we go. There we go. There's that seating click. It is in there now. So pin two is set. Two's not fully seated still. There we go. <clears throat> yep, that's exactly what was happening. There we go. There's our open. I had to get that last spool right there on pin two. It was a little bit high spool. Unfortunately, I don't have the key to show that. But there we go. There was our 30 millimeter four pin with spools master dimple lock. I'll be right back with our 40 millimeter five pin. All right, the 40 millimeter padlock is already in the pad, in the vise and ready to go. We're going to actually get that seated right there. I'm gonna pick from the left hand side because the warding is a little bit in the way on the right hand side. This side's just a little bit easier. Got pin one. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that it was actually, I think I have too much pressure on is the problem. There we go. Pin three. Pin four. And then pin five. There we go. And there is our open. So you can see the spool action in this one. Very cool. Very fun. All right. On to our 50 millimeter. Okay. We have the 50 millimeter version in our vise and ready to be picked. Um, again, I'm going to go from the left hand side of the keyway on this one. It's just, it feels easier with the warding there. Here we go. Pin one. Pin three. Four, five, six, it's coming back to pin two. Oh, I went to lift it and it sounded like it dropped stuff. We got pin two there. Let's go back, find what we dropped. Go five, six. Oh, I thought that was going to be the open. We're almost there. It's not one. I thought we got two. Yeah. It's not three. It's definitely not open. Oh, there we go. Is that? It's not that one. Oh, maybe it's further back. Oh, six is further back. That's it. There we go. There is our open. So that was our uh, 50 millimeter master lock. So there we go. Um, he just the camera here. There we are. And here are other versions. So you can see uh, 
that these actually have spools in them. And that's something that I found really freaking cool about it. Um, again, yeah, the other thing that's really cool about it is you, these versions have usually at least one less pin in it. I don't know, 30 millimeter versions typically have uh, four pins, sometimes three pins. But yeah, so four pins, five pins, and six pins. And each of these master dimple locks have spools in them. So yeah, very cool. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.